Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Nikon Action Touch. It's from 1986. It was also known as the L35 AWAF or the L35 AWAD date version. It's fully submersible to 3 meters, hair under 10 feet. Um, it was also available in orange and blue in addition to this black has a 35 millimeter f 2.8 lens stops down to f 17.5 it's four elements in three groups it's a pretty sharp lens um, the elements don't count the uh, protective glass in front that lets it be waterproof it has an electronic shutter that goes from an eighth of a second to one four hundred thirtieth of a second uh, it's programmed by the metering it's got this CDS cell here within the lens ring but there are no filter rings um, you might be able to put a slip-on filter there's a website called the shutter click.com that says its longest shutter time is two seconds I haven't put it in a super dark situation and tested that out for myself the shutter is also the diaphragm, so you probably only get that fastest uh, shutter speed at, uh, at very small f-stops. A lot of these point and shoots were like that. It reads DX encoded film only, um, like a lot of them, if you don't have encoded film or if it's outside the range of 50 to 1600 it defaults to uh, ISO 100. So there's no per frame exposure compensation at all in this guy. Inside um, the film load chamber and it does have a nice uh, pressure plate that clips over the film so it doesn't have to be in the back. It, it keeps the film nice and flat on the plane. It's auto load auto advance and auto stop you manually initiate rewind with this switch on the bottom it also has this monster uh, battery chamber cover so it can have a big solid o-ring even though it's round like that you got two AA 1.5 volt batteries that go down in this chamber that's just so it can be waterproof and then a standard tripod socket the flash is guide number 10 meters, somewhere around 32 feet. So not super, super bright, but decent for a point and shoot. A nice thing about the flash is it's switch controlled. So you can completely defeat it to get this guy down to its nice F2.8 uh, setting. Or if it's on, it's always gonna fire. So you can uh, do fill flash. It has a 10-second uh, self-timer. You set it by switching the power switch to the self-timer rather than on. has active infrared autofocus. The two sensors are right here. Uh, it'll autofocus from 0.7 meters to infinity. It's about 2.3 feet. Or you can manual focus using the zone focusing that you use when you're underwater. The autofocus, they don't claim it works underwater at all. You just take it off of this auto setting. It's got uh, feet and meters on the white and the orange side of the dial. So whatever units you're used to, you just read it right off the top. It has this flash ready light, lets you know the flash is charged. And then it's also got a, uh, a camera shake warning, which you probably won't be able to see. But anyway, that shows up at the very top of the viewfinder, lets you know to use a tripod or to activate the flash. Inside the viewfinder, it has parallax marks. It doesn't actually do correction, but it's marked for when you're close up. Uh, it has an autofocus auto mark in the middle, kind of an oval. And then along the bottom, it has a distance scale. Um, it's got the usual icons, you know, face, head and shoulders, mountains, that kind of thing, and a needle that lets you know where it's autofocusing. Then it has uh, a little setting that shows that you're too close in autofocus mode and it can't get a focus lock. And then all the way over to the right, there's an M for when you're set into this zone focus mode for manual. 
that's about it. I uh, shot with this uh, out at the Salton Sea. Got some nice pictures with it. And amazingly, I waited till the end of the roll in case I was going to flood it. But it's still waterproof. My underwater pictures don't look great. They say to be close. Don't use the flash as your primary light. And make sure you're in clear water. Well, I couldn't get close to anything interesting. That water is as murky as it can get. So the sunlight doesn't penetrate very far. But I had a ton of fun shooting with this thing. I really like it. It's, it's one of the L series. It's got a beautiful lens. It's a great little camera. So I may do a dueling underwater cameras or something. I still have a couple more. So I'll see you then.